countries that entered middle income nations, they had 25% of their workforce within science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. Tanzania had 0.3% of the workforce within STEM fields, so we're missing out a huge opportunity. My name is Ludiko Edward, a medical doctor and a PhD scientist. I'm the co-founder of Project Inspire, and we inspired to build the first Disneyland for science in Africa. I was born in Tanzania, in Dar es Salaam, actually, and we had a very beautiful growing environment with my siblings. When I finished my first degree in medicine, I was thinking I need to get out of this country and get more exposure, apart from just seeing the things in TV and applied for a scholarship, direct entry from MD to go to a PhD at Uppsala University in Sweden. So I spent five uh, years of my life around it. When I left uh, the country to Sweden, I was interested to see what life has to offer out there. And I had thoughts of staying, but before I left, I had already started Project Inspire. And that is one thing that's really, really was driving me to come back and say, okay, um, I'm going outside to gather as much as I can so that when I come back, I'm as useful as I can be. I had a, one huge culture shock in Sweden. So there's this moment where people invited me for lunch. So we went all the way to the cafeteria and people opened up the bags and put the lunch boxes on front. I was like, I don't have that. You know, in, in, our, in our cultural context, I take, I tell, let's go for lunch, I invite you, right? So that means I, I cover for that stuff. <laughs> During my last few months when I was doing my thesis, that's when Corona hit. There was a lot of isolation and, you know, the worry. I'm, you know, all this way far. I, locking myself up, um, writing, yes, but still worried about home, what's happening, my family. And also I had, uh, I had already uh, an engagement with the university, uh, Muhimbili as an academician there, so I was like, this is even greater, more reasons to, to come back home and contribute meaningfully from the experiences I've learned. The question of the importance of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, like STEM uh, in an African context, is that science, technology, engineering, and math is the one that has progressed humanity so far. And Africa as a continent and, uh, has a lot of opportunities to capture and leapfrog to you know, success that other countries have. I've been Tanzanian born, raised, and educated at least to my, my first degree in medicine. And I've gone through public schools and I've gone through private schools. So I have a good taste of both worlds. And being in a diaspora opened up my mind in terms of, okay, um, it could be better. And then it became a personal mission to give this experience that I didn't get growing up in an academic situation to young people who need uh, to have that. So to me, it's more personal. Uh, one of the major things that I learned is um, I did not know much about myself and this experience of coming back, change of environment and the work we do has really taught me much about uh, what I can do. In Project Inspire we have three main major programs. One is uh, for kids who are coming up three years to 14 years. The second main project is to package these experiences that kids have in projects in science kits. And the third last project is with secondary school kids. And this is, is uh, we do it boot camps every year. And we throw them problems. Let's say outbreak of cholera. How can you use science, technology, engineering, math to solve that? And they pull practical knowledge to make sure that what they learn makes sense. My advice to uh, other diaspora in other continents, in the US, Sweden, whoever, there is a lot of room for growth and relevance in our continent. And we are the only ones who are going to capture it. We should, we should do it. We should come back and grow this continent, leapfrog, you know.